In this video, we are going to see the types of modern computers. Nowadays, it is impossible to imagine a life without computers. From work to entertainment, these have become an integral part of our lives. But do you know there are various types of computers, each designed for specific task and purpose? We can see them one by one. There are 10 types of computers, each made for a specific purpose. First one is the all-powerful personal computer, desktop, laptop, netbooks and tablets, handheld computers, workstation, server, mainframe, supercomputer and wearables. You can see them one by one. What is a personal computer? A term PC describes a computer designed specifically for individual uses. In 1981, the tech giant IBM unveiled its first PC. Modern personal computers have evolved to include touch screens, built-in connectivity options like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Today, PCs are more than just tools for data processing or playing games. They are an integral to countless aspects of daily life from scientific research to weather forecasting. This is about the personal computers. Then we can see what is a desktop. You can recognize these desktops by its large terminal box and equipped with a CRT that cathode ray tube monitors. They crowd your home workspace or office the expectation with the desktop systems where you can set the uh, computer up in a permanent location that is the unique feature of this desktop and these offer more power uh, storage and versatility for less cost next is the most well-known laptops uh, that integrate the display keyboard, a pointing uh, device or trackball processor, memory and hard drive all in a battery operated package slightly larger than an average hand cover book. And next is the netbooks. These are a type of laptop that is slimmer and lighter and these netbooks first appeared in 2007 primarily as a means for accessing internet and web-based applications and they have small displays and uh, small, a small little uh, storage capacity and sometimes they will skip ports like USB, uh, HDMI and uh, that traditional laptops would have. So this, uh, this is the difference between a laptop and a netbook. And then uh, the most well-known is the tablets or these are thin flat devices that uh, look like a larger version of a uh, smartphone and tablets can do all the functions that laptops do but don't have internal fans so they have to rely on low power performing processes that won't use as much heat or battery power and this is about the uh, tablet and uh, one more thing is that they also have less uh, storage capacity than traditional PCs and they are more portable than PC and have a longer battery. And uh, next we can see what is a handheld computer. Uh, it's amazing that all the computer uh, functions a smartphone can perform including taking a photo. So these uh, you know, smartphones come under these uh, handheld, handheld computers. These days you can carry much more processing power right in, in your hand pockets. And uh, handheld computers like smartphones and PDAs are one of the eras uh, iconic devices. And these PDAs are very lightly, uh, tightly integrated. Uh, computers that often used uh, flash memory instead of a hard drive for storage and these computers usually didn't have keyboards but relied on the touch screen technology for user input but as the smartphone revolution began these PDAs lost their luster and next is the workstation this is a simply a, a desktop computer that has a more powerful processor, additional memory, high-end graphic adapters, 
for performing a special group of tasks such as 3D graphics or game development. And so workstations like, like regular desktop computers are intended for individual users, but they differ from these desktops in that they are much speeder than the uh, desktop computers. This engineering firms and for multimedia companies um, buy these PCs for their employees. Next is the server. This has been optimized uh, to provide services to other computers over the network. These servers usually have powerful processors, lots of memory and large hard drives. And unlike a desktop or PC laptop, you uh, don't uh, sit down at the server and type. So this is uh, the difference between the server. But instead, a server provides a computer power and lots of it through a local area network or over the internet. Servers are often stored in racks in a dedicated server room. And you can see that in the picture. And like regular PCs, the servers have motherboards, RAM, video cards and ample network connections and though uh, they don't typically have de dedicated displays and so instead IT workers use a single monitor to configure and control multiple servers. Next is the mainframes. In the early days of computing, these mainframes were huge computers that would fill the entire room or even a whole floor. And uh, as the size of the computers have uh, reduced while their power has increased, the, the term mainframe has fallen out. You can see, but uh, still these huge mainframes are used in large companies to process millions of transactions every day working to fulfill the needs for thousands of individual users. Next are the supercomputers. And this type of computer usually costs thousands and or even millions of dollars. And although some supercomputers are single computer systems, most are composed of multiple high performance computers working in parallel as a single system. The best known supercomputer manufacturers are uh, Cray uh, supercomputers. They, these supercomputers are different from main mainframes, but both types of computers have uh, incredible computing power. Uh, that is, the supercomputers are mainframes, but these mainframes generally provide uh, strong data reliability. And uh, these are often the supercomputers. You can say they are often found in places like atomic research centers, spy agencies, scientific institutes, or weather forecasting stations where speed is of vital concern. Next, the last one but not the least, they are the wearables, uh, which is the latest trend in computing. Essentially, these uh, uh, computer uh, uh, applications like uh, email, database, multimedia are integrated into watches, cell phones, devices, and even clothing. And uh, many other wearable targets, uh, wear wearables target outdoor enthusiasts, allowing them to track their location, altitude, calories, band, uh, burned, and steps speed and much, much more. So these are about the um, modern computers which are used uh, in the world. Subscribe to my channel if you feel contented. Like and share my videos with your friends.